I look smaller than you because this is lower. Yeah, it, it is. It's just like this. No, it's cool. Actually. You sit great. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hello, I got something now that's very different to what you're used to listen to from me. I got this uh, new thing going on with Joe Callover from London. No, not London actually, but from England, but he well, lives London, sometimes yeah. in London, yeah. <laughs> we met two and a half years ago in LA for a writing session for his band. And it, yeah, it turned out to be something completely different. We did yeah, a project out of it or a band or however you want to call it that we're just working on and yeah. Yeah, you really got to check it out. It's very cool, uh, very different, and very musical, I think, in a in the original sense. So we're here um, talking about the uh, project we've been working on for almost two and a half years now. Is it that long? I don't know. When did we meet in, in, in LA? Uh, late 2015. Because yeah. I mean, we started back then already, so yeah. to say, in a way, and we then we started talking about it. And did the first song there. Already. We did Baby I Don't Dance <laughs> yeah. on the Sunset Strip. How cool is that? <laughs> that was very cool. In the hotel room. Yeah. We can't yeah, mention drank, which hotel. We drank beer at 12th and uh, <laughs> I had to walk down the Sunset Strip to go and meet at Sash's apartment. No, sorry, hotel room. And uh, we hadn't met before, had no, we? No, we didn't. And um, yeah, I was thirsty, so <laughs> I had to have a bit of Dutch courage, <laughs> as they say. From that I uh, came to um, Germany and it wasn't planned we were going to meet, was it, uh, when I arrived and then we got in contact and I came here for a day and with a bunch of songs written and we just kind of went through them. And just, then we just decided to, yeah, to make an album and constantly work on it for the next time yeah. that we did. That's what we did and got the guys together did like a super cool first round of recordings that I went home with a smile on my face. Yeah, we like, all did. <laughs> yes, yeah, like I didn't have for a long time. That was just like really making music in the, in, the, in the way it used to be and in the way I always loved to do it. And what came out of it was something really musical yeah. and natural it's and, uh, yeah, so, yeah, and yeah. with yeah, with like lots of people being involved and having a share in it and you can totally hear uh, this is the result. This is a piece of art, so to say. Yeah, I would say so. Done definitely. by, uh, yeah, with the contribution of a yeah. couple of good a uh, collaboration. artists. Collaboration. Collaboration. Yeah. Great fun as well. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the first song kind of came out of nowhere. I was supposed to meet Sasha to do some songs for my band in America, and I was like, oh no, let's try something new, let's try some blues. And we were like, oh, okay. And we, we wrote Baby I Don't Dance in about 10, 15 minutes yes. or something. And, uh, and then we had lunch and we just clicked like friends. I think that's the main thing with friends and, and we make music together. You know, that's what's great is um, when there's no, you know, it's, it's very chilled what we do with, with the guys as well. Everyone's got to say, there's no fingers waving in anyone's faces. It's just like, this is a, a fun collaborative and we're making art you know it's very Absolutely. cool it's perfect yeah it was it was like we meant no, to meet yeah. and make music you know? yeah now we just need the possibilities yeah to, to tour and do stuff like this because this would be the perfect bunch of people for that uh, i would say it's pure fun with and pure energy too yeah in a way and it's a really uh, really something very special you don't find this a lot actually it's a very intuitive intuitive <laughs> intuitive process of what would say uh, like very cool and very quick very quick yeah. and very raw as well that's what we kind of decided in the first days already i'm, I'm used to uh, like do everything with i mean i'm almost used to do everything alone these days you know you sit on your computer do everything program play drums what so fucking ever you can just do the whole thing if you want but i didn't want to do it with this music because it kills this music i mean we talked about it in the beginning i just said joe we don't need this stuff yeah we just get good people that contribute and it plays li yeah we all yeah, play we, live so as we well play, and we so. play it live see if we find the magic of music again yeah and i think we did i think and, we definitely did Absolutely. and uh, th that's the way we also uh, do the writing mm. we we both of us we meet before we do the studio sessions to 
just to select some material that we can work on later on because we, we cannot go to the studio without anything. Uh, and uh, yeah, we he comes with some ideas and then we work on it, uh, we work it out. And uh, I put my stuff in and uh, so in the end, usually it doesn't, it's not taking much longer than yeah, uh, half a day. Us, us talking here <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, to do a song sometimes. Is, and what we have, what we take to the studio session is actually only a recording. We did mm -hmm. like three songs today, by the way, in the morning, uh, just a recording on, on an iPhone where we sit and, and play. I play guitar and he sings, or yeah. both sing together, both play guitar, what's so fucking ever, in a very raw format. And we, uh, this, that's what we play to the guys. Sometimes we say, ah, oh, this should be this feel and this feel, but sometimes we also just say, what do you think? Mm. Uh, just Never. how would you, how would you do that song? Anybody, any idea? And sometimes, like, super great stuff is okay. coming out of. So out yeah, of the yeah, nothing, yeah. like as some suddenly uh, Corbin plays this great melody. So what the hell yeah. is this doing to this song? It's great. Yeah. And or Andre make this cool bass, uh, which is totally changing it. And also the guys, they don't hear any of the recordings at all that we've done until we're actually in the studio. So we normally play it to them, and then we talk about it for 25 minutes or so, and then go straight and and um, and play, don't we? So yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's, it's just a great bunch of people that have fun doing music exactly. and are just uh, with no egos, yeah. I would say. No I, I didn't, didn't see <laughs> egos around. Jamie's ego. <laughs> Jamie's, <laughs> except Jamie. Except uh, Jamie. Uh, <laughs> Jamie, is, he's, he's great. He's, just, no, no. He's, he's singing, he's, he's always no. doing like the cool stuff when we do the backing vocals, exactly. right? Exactly. And he has also great ideas, yeah. Jamie, uh, the drummer. He modifies his drum set for the song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. just to put this the washing. Uh, what's the name? Oh, the of washboard. This? We had washboard. great fun with that. Yeah, we had, <laughs> like, that I actually inherited from my grandma. Yeah. And it was the first time it was in use. I was very proud, very proud. And he put it on his laps, and then uh, he was playing the drums in the same time, and uh, it was just great. Yeah. Uh, just a yeah, super really cool thing. Song. You know, for this <laughs> one song, I just had this lick on the lap steel. The only thing that was there was this, uh, the, the, on taboo, just this lick. That, you know, that's what we uh, played and we just said, you know, this is enough. We just, just work on something like this. And then I played the riff and we did one uh, version and you started to improvise lyrics mm. and uh, the whole thing. And then we just said, maybe on this spot we go on this chord, this here. But, ah, you know what, we just play. Just, just play and we and did we, one take. It's, it's, I don't know, yeah. it's a six, six, six seven minutes. minute version. I don't know. Yeah, six and a half minutes or something. And uh, it's... It's really it's, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. It's not a chart breaker song, of course. No. It's something that mo can move people, some people. People that are into, into music and that yeah. like the experience that music can do to you and are open and have the time to listen to it and want to listen to music. They can find, they can have fun uh, with that stuff, I think. And we, we definitely have had fun. Oh, definitely. And still yeah. have. And it's a cool thing. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Not happening too many times today. <laughs>